I am Takur. Greetings. Okay. Who are? I see. I know there is much information that you want to know from the human colonies, and therefore I have come today because I need to make some announcements. I need to let you know what is going on and why things have not moved forward as they should. The thing is, we are not sure exactly what is causing the delay and the problem. But let us tell you who, what we do know. First of all, when we were bringing people to the colony in the astral projection form, or spiritual form as you may call it, it was successful. We were able to get you in into the fourth dimension and you were able to learn and go to all the colonies. <clears throat> Occasionally some <clears throat> someone would go to the planets. But that is all that we're able to do at that time. Some people have limited memory of these experiences. There are a few that have extensive memory, but they are not. that is not common. Now, we tried to be to the colonies astrally and put on them the holographic projections, the light, if you will, to make it so that they could be more solid. Even though light is not seemingly solid, it is matter and it will remember and see th things. But as we began to these holo in the, the, the form and putting the holographic on them, it did not take. About 13 to 20 percent of the holographic image would be there and that is all. And then it would dissipate very quickly. There were a few that had very high third dimensional energy that were able to with the full holographic intact, but that did not last very long at all also. Problem is, because some have said sabotage and that there are waves that are the problems and things of this nature, we have not found that. We have not found any sabotage whatsoever. We are thinking that if there is, it is not with our equipment and not with our uh, spacecraft or colonies. It is because there is something in each individual that has been placed there that causes them not to be able to take the holographic form. Mm -hmm. We are now finding that there was a different percentage of holographic that was able to be put on each individual. Therefore, we found that uh, each one was different. So we are wondering if it's an individual situation. Now, I know there has been also things uh, spoken about belief systems and things of this nature. It should not be a matter of belief systems as far as we're concerned. We're here in the astral. You should believe that you could be here in the holographic as well. However, it may be part of the cause for some people. We have not determined the actual cause, but it could be just in a strand of hair, a cell in the body, that something has been put there to stave off the holographic form, and therefore we are looking for this. This is like searching for a very minute, but I believe that it's important that we find it. I can answer. To Kerr, this is Brian. Yes. This is Brian. Brian, how are you? Good, good. Um, I, I, I felt that a little bit of that too. I was wondering if the pollutants in the air, like chemtrails and stuff that we take in through our nose, we mm. inhale. I was wondering the aluminum. I was wondering if into the and eventually gets into our DNA or whatever in our system, could that affect um, our memory? 
it could affect your memory. However, let me uh, go over something else that I did not mention. The four humans that have been coming to the colony for many years, yes. um, James, Douglas, Randall, and uh, Victoria, they were able to take the holographic body with no problem whatsoever. And they are not members of the human colony. And that makes us very suspicious of some things. However, I must repeat, we found no sabotage whatsoever. Now, the people that are new to human colony, that are in human colony, which is a newer establishment, those are the people that we find the problem with. It, they don't seem to be taking the holographic. But those that have been with us a long time can do it. Is there any other questions? Yes, we have a question from Soneda. Hello, Takur. Are we still connected? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear Zaneda? Hello. Hello, Tucker. Is there a problem? Um, I can hear Zaneda. Oh, um, we can hear her. There must be a problem with yours, and well, you have been cutting out some. Out. But we did not. Okay, perhaps um, Zaneda, could you speak, state your question, and perhaps someone can uh, repeat it? Um. Yes. I have a question. Okay. I had a very vivid dream that I think was real that I visited the human colonies and met you okay. with two or three other uh, beings. Is that true? Yes. When did you do this? You have. I have met you more than once. Before <clears throat> Ah, Habakkuk. I remember that meeting, yes. Pass when you were on the colonies, because it is different than in Earth, regular Earth time. It may seem like 10 minutes, but you might have been there for a longer period of time, because time moves much more quickly in on the colonies in the astral spirit, if you want to say. I remember meeting you in a, a square, <clears throat> squarish room with just the four of us. I remember feeling the love. Uh, very, very nice. Very well. I am glad you have memories of it. Many will have memories of it, we pray. Is it working? Anita also feels she has been at the colonies. Yeah, and and it's very strange. I don't understand it. Form. Interesting. So they cannot ask questions. Well, we can get. We are getting questions um, in the chat window, which is very bizarre. I have a question. Yes. Is there a plan B with the holographic? There's all kinds of plans with the holographic, but we must find out what is wrong with plan A first. Plan B, there is no plan B for holographic, but there is plan B for ways of teaching you that might may. Uh, Translate better. <clears throat> is that is that what you mean? Sorry, I was getting a suggestion for how to fix the problem, and I didn't hear you. I said there is no plan B for the holographic because if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. <coughs> there is, a, however, a plan B for for getting better communications. So we will work on that as well. I can hear Jim just fine, and I can hear everyone in his room just yes. fine. Hello. But they can't hear us, can they? Jim and yes. Hello. We, we can hear you guys. Yes. Right, but, but Jim, so but Jim cannot Jim hear. Not hearing us. Anybody? Wendy, everybody's hearing. Everyone. Are you still taking but many Jim of us? Cannot hear us. I mean, um, Ashley. She. Her question is: Are you still taking? People ask spiritually because on the night of. Uh, the 20th. Many people were restless that night, I heard. And many people came to the colonies and were not put into, astro into holographic form, and therefore it was a restless night for many people. They were brought, but they were not, they did not stay. And therefore it was very restless and sleepless. It seemed sleepless, but it was just restless. But yes, we are still taking some people astrally, and there are some volunteers that have asked to come astrally and 
we can use them as um, experimenting with the holographic with them. And there are many that have uh, actually volunteered to do that. And we are working with them. And actually, in the astral, we can see their spiritual blueprint, the perfect body that they would have had in the spirit before that before any changes would have happened to the body. It grows up and matures with the body in a perfect way. So therefore, you, you have something in your brains. <clears throat> Utilize this blueprint eventually and heal yourselves of many different things using this blueprint. So we are studying the blueprints of these individuals that have also lent themselves to experimentation. No harm will come with them, of course. But it is very important that we find out what is wrong. 